The Illuminati was a small free-thinker society founded in 1776 in Bavaria. They ceased to exist by 1789. The spread of the Illuminati legend and continued belief in them today can be traced back to the book Proofs of a Conspiracy by John Robinson, a 1798 anti-Freemasonry book. The Freemasons and Illuminati are often regarded as one and the same by conspiracy theorists. Proofs of a conspiracy has become a source of inspiration to many conspiracy theorists since its initial publication and has been reprinted by, among others, the John Birch Society. Many modern variations of the Illuminati conspiracy have them being a controlling influence in the New World Order. The alleged continued existence of the Illuminati looms large in many conspiracy theories. Tall tales by evangelical satanic panic fakers like Mike Warnk and John Todd, crank anti-Semitic and anti-Masonic writings, pseudolo theories, etc. Depending on which version of the Illuminati story one believes, they are either a satanic, Masonic, Zionist, Atheist, Reptilian, or Secular Financial Conspiracy. Despite the many different versions of the conspiracy, each version claims to have evidence that they are correct. They secretly control world events and their symbol, the all-seeing eye, is on the back of the US $1 bill. This belief, in whatever version, is patently ridiculous but it persists. When the Founding Fathers designed the Great Seal, the all-seeing eye was proposed by members of design committees who were not Freemasons. Since conspiracy theorists regard Freemasons and the Illuminati to be practically the same, it was also not named the all-seeing eye as the cranks believe, but rather the Eye of Providence. Several 20th century conspiracy theory books such as those by William Guy Carndes Griffin combined John Robinson's allegations about the Illuminati and Freemasonry with those of the hoax book, The Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion, to come up with an explicitly anti-Semitic version of the Illuminati theory. Jack Chick and Alberto Rivero on the other hand promoted an anti-Roman Catholic variant of the theory alleging the Illuminati was a creation of the Vatican. Mike Warnk and John Todd, mentioned above, are two fake ex-Satanist Christian evangelists. They have both described the Illuminati as the highest level of Satanism. Warnk claimed he learned of the Illuminati when attending a high-level conference of Satanists and witches, shortly before he dropped out of Satanism to join the Navy and convert to Christianity. Todd claimed to have been a member of the Illuminati himself, which he said was a high council of druids secretly working to destroy Christianity and make witchcraft the official religion of the United States. Belief in the Illuminati as a satanic conspiracy continues to be held by many evangelical Christians, despite both Warnk and Todd being exposed as frauds. To the true believer, Exposing them as frauds only goes to show how far the Illuminati are willing to go to malign opponents. More modern conspiracy theories about the New World Order often keep the essential structure and nature of the Illuminati theory but shy away from direct mention of the Illuminati in favor of other groups, such as the Trilateral Commission. Also see our article on MIMS. On another level, the Illuminati plays a role in books like Robert Anton Wilson's Illuminatus trilogy. Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons, and the joke religion of Discordianism, they also have a tendency to put hidden symbols and clues to their existence around the world, and on money, for no apparent reasons. Nearly every popular culture icon, including television shows, politicians, music artists and any slash every celebrity, are said to be somehow connected to the Illuminati in some way from something as normal as a triangle. Probably the best example of this would be Tupac Shaker, whose last album was entitled The Donkey Illuminati, The Seven Day Theory Lead to Many Theories. Tupac actually chose the title to reference that the album was recorded and mixed in a relatively short period of seven days. The word Illuminati, a portmanteau of the words kill and Illuminati that people ironically interpret as PAC saying that he is speaking out against the man killing Illuminati. The truth being that he heard about them in prison and used the logic the majority of people lack that if this organization is so secret, how the fuck does everyone know about it? Those aren't his words but it's what he meant. 2PAC never believed in the Illuminati.
7. People also begin to distort the truth to form other theories. People have been saying Tupac faked his death and will be coming back since 2003. Every few years when they are obviously wrong people push back the guess a few years. This is mainly because a while before he died Tupac was planning on permanently changing his rap name to make Avery after the 15th 16th th century writer Niccolo Machiavelli. An equally good example would be rapper JZ. He is supposedly very high in the Illuminati's hierarchy of celebrities. The hand gesture that he flashes has been cited as proof, in a very, very loose sense of the word, even though it's meant to represent the diamond of Rockefeller Records and is thrown up as frequently as the East or West hand signs. He is also accused of being famous for selling his soul and amongst other things. As with Tupac, theorists just turn to lies to prove their points. Quite a few people claim that the name of his newborn daughter, Blue Ivy, backwards, Avi Yule, is Latin for Lucifer's daughter even though there is nothing to imply this. JZ has denied all these claims. His response to the conspiracy theorists can be heard in Rick Ross's song, Freemason. I assure you when he dies no matter how simple the explanation for the death, someone somewhere will have evidence that the Illuminati was involved. It can be very difficult to find anyone who isn't actually connected with the Illuminati. All of the claimed affiliations involve an occult symbol in a music video or photo, usually the all-seeing eye, the star of David, or a pentagram. This is most likely to get people talking and gain publicity. For example, if Lahana has a newspaper cutout that says, Princess of the Illuminati, in a music video, millions of people will go watch the video. Michael Jackson is a very interesting case. One faction of the conspiracy community considers him a member of the Illuminati, employed to brainwash the public. Another faction, however, says that Michael was not a member, but actually was fighting to expose their control of the music industry and media. Michael was supposedly killed for this very reason. Either way the theorists have all the bases covered. Spelling Illuminati in reverse and entering it as a URL, aka www.itanimali.com, leads to the NSA website. This is merely someone purchasing the domain and redirecting it to a government website as inconclusive proof, even though anyone can do so. If anyone of any level of fame is to die it is instantly the work of the Illuminati. Either because they were going to expose them or they were sacrificed. I guarantee if someone relatively famous dies, Within the first week the internet would be full of guesses surrounding their death.